guys, so in today's video, I am going to be completely pulling some shit out of my ass that I really just don't know a lot about. Frank, why are you barking at the neighbor's dog? My friend Lexi is very good with like spiritual stuff and about a week ago, I was having one of those like really weird nights that involved like a little too much Prosecco and I got myself into like a little bit of a Prosecco hole and I was feeling like a little bit down because I had just gone through like a weird breakup with this dude and I was just thinking to myself like what am I doing wrong in my life like why do I keep getting my heart broken why is my love life like perpetually failing and you know a lot of you who watch my videos might might think well Stephanie I mean just watch some of your videos and you'll see like why you're attracting like a certain breed of guy. Don't judge me. And it's just not, not always, okay? Not always. And this last guy that, that I had a breakup with or whatever, like things are actually like okay now, kind of, okay? I don't really want to talk about it right now. <laughs> Cause you guys are gonna be like, what the fuck, Stephanie? But my friend told me that particular evening that I, that I was having a very rough time. She said that I needed to write down all of the things that I wanted in a man and I needed to put it out there into the universe that this is the kind of man that I'm looking for. And it is a man that possesses these exact qualities. And by writing it down and by chanting about it and by believing it, you are putting it out there for the universe and the universe is gonna be like, all right, bitch, I got you. Here you go, Stephanie. Here's Gerard Butler, just like you wanted. That didn't end up happening. So um, thanks, universe. What the fuck? You guys want to know a really crazy story? Okay, side note. My mother went on a trip to Czech Republic. She flew with Austrian Airlines to Vienna. This was about like two years ago. I was supposed to go with her, but I didn't because I was like dating somebody at the time. Honestly, whatever was going on in my life, I highly regret it now. So anyways, my mom gets on the plane. She texts me and she's like, Stephanie, you'll never believe who's sitting in front of me in first class. And I was like, I don't know, the Prince of Vienna, Doug the Pug, I don't know, some really fancy, important person. And she was like, no, Stephanie, Gerard Butler. Literally, my heart fucking sank. I was like, mother, you're married, you're 50 years old, I should be there. I should be sitting on that plane right now because that could be my future husband. And that was the day that I passed up my chance to become Gerard Butler's wife. So, it's a sad thing for sure. I think about it like most of the time, especially when I am cry masturbating. <laughs> that sounds so bad. But anyways, uh, you know, it just, it could have been. It could have been, but it wasn't. What was I saying? Yes. So my friend told me on this particular evening that I needed to put it out there into the universe, the kind of man that I wanted to be with, and that if I wrote it down or if I made it vocal in some way, that this man would come to me. So I was a little drunk that night. Okay, let's be real. I was wasted. And you guys might also be like, Stephanie, why are you wasted all the time? Like, aren't you on medication? Aren't you sick? I know, I am. But sometimes there's sickness in here that you need to help as well. And wine just happens to help my anxiety. Lots of things. And no, I'm not an alcoholic. I limit myself to two glasses of wine, but I'm a lightweight, so this is why this is happening right now, okay? I decided that instead of writing down all the qualities that I wanted in a man, that I was going to make a video about the kind of man that I wanted. But, uh, somehow I ended up with this. If I had to picture my perfect dream man right now, I would imagine the late and great Steve Irwin he was so adventurous, so fun. He was so good with animals, and he was just a family man. And he had such nice hair. Oh, it's a shame. It's a shame, guys. It's a shame. R.I.P. Steve Irwin. He was so hot. You know, I never honestly knew that I had these deep hidden emotions directed towards the late, great Steve Irwin. But I guess people's true feelings really do come out after having a couple glasses of wine. But tonight, I'm a little less drunk. I'm still a little buzzed because, you know, we like to keep things a little fun here on Stepanka's channel. And I'm ready to talk about how you really can manifest the man of your dreams. And 
I really don't know what the man of my dreams is. I think it changes hourly, but you know, today, currently, right now, the man of my dreams is about 45 minutes north of here and He's sleeping. Oh well. I'm gonna teach you guys how to manifest the man of your dreams. And you should totally listen to me because I've totally manifested the man of my dreams multiple times in my life. But we're gonna completely ignore the part that like they eventually turned into the men of my nightmares. But like at one point they were the men of my dreams. So the first thing that you're going to do in order to manifest the man of your dreams is you're going to make sure that you are exactly where you want to be in life. You can't manifest the man of your dreams unless you are the girl of the man of of your dreams dreams you know what I mean guys like for example when I was going through some rough patches in my life and I wasn't doing so well and I wasn't physically financially emotionally where I wanted to be I would only attract men that were of equal craziness to me so now that I'm like a little less crazy a little bit more financially stable just you know a little bit better emotionally, not much, but you know, it's progress. I am indeed attracting a better breed of man. Another way to manifest the man of your dreams is to do things that inspire you, that make you feel good about yourself. The next step to manifesting the person that you want, aside from just like, you know, not being a general train wreck, is to believe that there is a soulmate for you out there. I think that the best quote that I've ever heard in my life is from the Celine Dion song, That's the Way It Is. I'm gonna play it right now so you guys can hear it. Love comes to those who believe it and that's just the way it is. I can't tell you how many times I have drunkenly cried that song. Like, my neighbors literally must think I'm batshit crazy. I think that this is something I always remind myself because sometimes after like a really bad breakup, you might think that everything's hopeless, there's nobody out there for you. I see a lot of you guys in the comment sections, you are so bitter towards people of the opposite sex. You just think that everybody of the opposite sex is like evil and out to get you. And by perpetuating that thought, you are just going to be attracting negative people into your life. And I know a lot of times we have been optimistic when it came to a relationship and we went into a relationship thinking that this person was the one, this person was perfect and we did everything right. We played everything by the rules and things still didn't work out. And trust me guys, that's happened to me so many times. But you have to understand that life throws certain challenges your way because it is kind of like going through an obstacle course. And as you move through this obstacle course, you learn more things about yourself. You learn what you need out of a relationship and what you don't need out of a relationship. It brings you closer to realizing the type of person you do need in your life. And I think that we also have to keep in mind that just because something didn't work out with somebody or we clashed with someone in a relationship, it doesn't necessarily make that other person like evil or wrong they just might be going through something in their life that has caused them to be a bad boyfriend or girlfriend like for example I dated this guy for four years and for four years and for a few years after I dated him I had this idea in my head that he was this like terrible person and he screwed me over and he was so horrible and evil and I hated him and I held on to this pain from my relationship ending with him and then finally after like years and years of carrying around that pain that I had from us not working out and from him like taking years away from my life, I decided to let it go. I decided to forgive him. I decided not to forget about everything that happened between us, but to, to just let it go and learn from it. And me and this guy were like on friendly terms now. And I realized that he wasn't an evil person. He wasn't necessarily a bad person. He was just going through something in his life. He was on his own journey and I was on another journey and we just 
couldn't meet in the middle, you know? Like, we were both going through our own shit and we would take things out on each other and we made a lot of mistakes. And this leads me to my next point. As soon as you let go of that resentment, that pain that you carry around with you, that is when you're gonna start attracting more meaningful and better people into your life. Like, for example, if your previous boyfriend or girlfriend cheated on you and you now have trust and jealousy issues, if you don't let that go, going forward in a new relationship, you are going to carry that pain from your previous relationship into your new relationship and then your new relationship isn't even going to stand a chance. So I think another step in manifesting the man or woman of your dreams is to just let go of all of the pain that other people have caused you and have a more optimistic and positive outlook on your future relationships and really truly believe that there is someone out there for you that's going to make you happy. And I truly believe that is how you manifest the person of your dreams. You guys can look this up on Google. There are a lot of articles and videos out there online on how to exactly manifest not just the person of your dreams but just like your dreams in general and I think a lot of it's really really interesting so all you single people watching this if you want to manifest the man or woman of your dreams start right now by writing down in the comment section below what it is that you want to find out there and click the thumbs up button if you believe in life after love I just made that up also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to keep watching my videos because I think they're pretty entertaining and thank you guys so much for watching pizza for everyone love you guys see you in my next video bye pizza I want pizza